doing opera workshops, one opera at a time, to match the Live from the Met broadcast. We do them a week or two in advance. We take the workshops, we break everything up into small pieces. So things are one minute, two minutes, three minutes long, not two hours long at once. Um, so it's a somewhat easier way in. And we talk about it and explain some of the things that are going on. Uh, so it's, it's an introduction. And the, and the idea is that people know something about the story, have seen some other people sing it, learn some of the words, so that when they go they can recognize things and maybe understand a little bit without needing to always read the subtitles. Hello,大家好,我是香港的女中音,我主要的職業就是一個Opera had problems with the censors. Uh, the opera was based on a play by Victor Hugo called Le Roi Samuse, which was about a king of France uh, who behaved very badly, uh, licentious, and uh, running after women all the time. Another story about uh, Rigoletto is that during rehearsals in the La Fenice Theater in Venice, there was a big hole in the score in the last act. Just a blank. And all the performers were asking Verdi, where's this music? He says, I'll get it to you later. I believe it was on the day, the final rehearsal, they finally gave the last bit of music. And it was La Donna Mobile. And the reason Verdi didn't give it before that is he knew that it would leak. And he was right. By the next morning, all the gondoliers were singing the song. Many people think opera is difficult, but it isn't. Uh, I think many people think that it's in a foreign language, which can be hard, but it isn't really. The words are pretty simple. Uh, and sometimes even if you just see them, you don't have to know Italian to know what they mean. And so doing a little bit of that before you go, means that when you go, you will recognize things, understand some of the words, uh, and it makes the uh, experience a bit more fun. I mean, opera should be fun.